my dear children of the world dear brother guy rider dear brother dr tedros my dear friend and brother angel guria brother martin sister gabriela and all those who are joining this historic movement only few minutes ago some of her, some of us joined the launch of international year for elimination of child labor with guy rider and henriette now we are launching history is one of the most important and the biggest ever campaign to change the fate of hundreds of millions of children in the world this campaign fair share to end child labor is going to rewrite the history we have seen that the injustices inequalities miseries denial of education child labor sexual exploitation of children trafficking and so many other problems have been exhibited during this pandemic but these injustices were already there and as i said few minutes ago in the year launch that the crux of the matter is that for centuries for decades for generations we have been denying fair share for our children fair share in health fair share in education fair share in protection and fair share in all walks of life when the children the young people students and their organizations teachers workers and their organizations businesses faith leaders nobel laureates and parliamentarians intergovernmental agencies have come together because when we call for fair share we call for creating a new culture of justice and equality we are calling for creating a new ethic of governance and state fair share for fair share to end child labor is demanding very simple and clear things fair share of resources we have seen that in the budgetary allocations as well as in the oda funding children and particularly the marginalized children never got their fair share we are demanding fair share in policies means laws and their enforcement and the mechanisms to enforce the laws that has not done adequately calling for this campaign has several activities and actions over the next year the whole year children are joining and survivors of child labor would be on the forefront of the campaign their purest and loudest moral voices would be heard in every possible place and every possible fora we are closely working with the parliamentarians through ipu inter parliamentary union and that is going to lead efforts in galvanizing support of the parliament, parliament members speakers of parliaments and presidents of parliament to organize special sessions 
where the voices of children should also be heard. The leading partners of the campaign, including teachers' organizations, teachers' unions, to Education International, and ITUC, the Global Confederation of uh, Workers. And they are going to help in mobilizing the political will, mass opinion, and building the mass movement together with the rest of the partners to make sure that this 2021 becomes a turning point in the history for elimination of child labor because we are all committed to end all forms of child labor by 2025 under the sustainable development goals businesses have joined us and many of them are sitting here and going to take a pledge that there should be fair share and that means their commitment will help in influencing ethical business that no child labor is involved in supply chain the faith leaders are going to bring their strong moral voices and they are going to influence the minds and hearts of people in favor of the most marginalized children to end child labor so are the Nobel laureates but dear friends the strongest and loudest and the most passionate voices <laughs> are coming from the students and young people across the world and they are committed to take the lead we are igniting a fire of change and that is not going to stop here that fire will multiply that fire will will put the end to this age-old man is this crime against humanity, the crime of child labor. We are not going to stop here. We will march on so that no child is left out, no child is left behind. We are marching until every child is free to be a child. Every child is safe and get education. Every child is given proper health care and every child is protected. We will do it. Thank you so much. And I welcome all those who have joined us today. I express my deepest gratitude and thanks for their unrelenting support, moral support, as well as the political support, social support so far, and Today is a new beginning to end child labor. Let us celebrate it and let us pledge ourselves that these, these things are not simply commitment and pledges. We will not leave any stone unturned to end child labor. Thank you very much.